Hello, my name is Sheikh Fabi. I'm taking you through the process of uh, digitizing in uh, Idrisi uh, software. Idrisi software is one of the uh, raster based GI software developed by Clark University based in the United States of America. And um, it's, a very, it's a formidable uh, GI software that dominates the scientific environment. It has a lot and lot and lot of geostatistic analysis models. But today we are going to look at uh, how you can use it to know the change changes taking place in land use land cover uh, using the cross tab model. The cross tab model in the image analysis section of uh, Idrisi contains the ad classification, ad classifier, and soft classifier, or what we can call the cross tab, ad cross tab, and the soft cross tab. If you are familiar with uh, Idrisi, which we are going to introduce to you in the subsequent uh, uh, program, in uh, subsequent lectures, we are going to take you through some procedure of EB Idrisi. So if you have Idrisi on your, on your system, you have installed Idrisi software, you go you navigate to the software, and then when you launch Idrisi, uh, the, this is the latest version of Idrisi software, and we have what we call the uh, TerraSet, Idrisi TerraSet Geospatial Monitoring and Modeling. So we have the menu bar, the upper part, we have the menu bars, we have the sub menus, on, and we have the button bar. So we are, if you want to bring in data from existing, uh, from the GeoTIP data or TIP data, or ECW, you have to import it into the Idrisi environment because in the Idrisi environment, it takes only the RST, RST format, that's the format that Idrisi uses to, uh, to, 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 to analyze, to do analysis, to carry out image analysis. So we have to import. So you can import from different versions, but we are going to import from GOT to Idrisi. You can import JPEG data into Idrisi, you can import the Excel file, you can import BMP file. But here, we are going to import GeoTIFF. So in this case, we navigate to where the data is located. And in this case, now we have a land use land cover of Nigeria in 2006. And then we also have the land use land cover of Nigeria in 2016. But here, we are just going to look at, a, uh, you, you click on this. And once you open, then it automatically gives you the name that I want to create. Then you supply the name here, and then you click OK. I'm not going to click OK now because it's going to take some time before it imports it. Because I've already imported it into the GI into the Idrisi. So the first thing after you have done this, you click OK, and then you go. Well, I'm going to close it now. Then you can launch. This display launcher can be reached through the file, file display, display launcher. This is to open or to display different kind of images, either a raster data or vector data or map composition. Here you can go through this and then you, you go to, you can display a raster data, raster layer, vector layer, map composition layer. But here I want to display a raster data. Because raster data, the Lancer data that has been classified into 12 classes, 12 land use classes for Nigeria was classified into 12 classes. So we can go there now. It was known as LUSC 2006 final. And you click OK. Then we have different palettes to open it. The palette is the kind of rendition, uh, the rendition to, to, to open, to display the image. So we are going to use Idrisi qualitative data because the classes are not numerical. They are not arithmetic. The classes are just the values in those classes, 1 to 12, are actually uh, representation of classes, representation of different classes. So you click OK, and then you see the, you see the image, image of Nigeria, land land cover classes in Nigeria for 2006. So you can open the second one you know, for 2016, that LUSC 2016. And then you use the same palette, and then you can put a title here. 
if you want, but uh, you just uh, now we can see the two images. This Nigerian land, land cover class in 2006, this Nigerian land, land cover in 2016. So these two images, we can look at the differences, what has changed from what to what. So what we do is to go to the Idris GIS analysis, and go to, uh, we can go to database query, and we use cross tab. Cross tab will be able to give us the first image, which is the input image before, and then the second image, which is the after image. So we can actually use third image as a plain but uh, in this case, we are just going to use the input is land down cover in 2006, and the output, uh, the, the second image is land down cover in 2016. What we are trying to do is to see what has changed between 2006 to 2016 based on those 12 classes. Then the image can be displayed as the the result of the of the image can be the, can be cross classified image or can be table or can be both of them. So we are going to use both of them. That means we use both cross classification table and the cross classification image. Then we can give it a name. Here let's say uh, change. Nigeria change 06 to o to 16. That means change between 2006 to 2016. We can also have Kappa index of agreement. This is to look at the index of agreement. How what is the level of accuracy of that change analysis? So Kappa index of agreement is particularly used to check uh, what the level of reliance, reliability of the kind of analysis we have carried out. So you can see it is working here. The, the cross tab is working two or four, 16%, and we are going to wait until it complete, it's, it's completed. Actually, you can use this change analysis to check, uh, to, to, to do what we call change matrix, change detection matrix. You can see what has changed from what to what. We can actually use this table, the table that we are going to get, from this change analysis to develop the kind of a change uh, model between those uh, uh, use type. So uh, we are going to wait for the change analysis is 48%. It depends on the the, uh, the density of your, of your classes. The classes are 12 classes. So you are going to see it's going to regress 12 classes with another 12 classes which is a lot, a lot, and a lot, and a lot, and a lot. So the time it will take to do the change analysis depends, one, on the volume of the data. Volume of the data you have in that which shows uh, the kind of uh, density of the image, and then also the categories that you have in the data. Uh, what is the classes, the number of classes you have in data because it's going to regress each of them with each of them. I'm going to use the pixel values of each of these uh, images, of the, of the two images, to cross-check each other. So you're going to use the pixel by pixel analysis. So it's sometimes it can take some time. It can take time before it is, uh, it's complete. So once you are done with the classification, with the classification, you can now see how you can interpret. So while we are waiting for is the other thing we need to introduce our people to is that uh, we need to know that this change analysis. So at the end of the analysis, it will give you it will give you the this, this is the image of the change in 2006 to change to 2016, and this is the results in the cross tabulation. This is in pixel. So we are going to multiply the pixel by 28 because the, the Lancer data that we use actually was 28, 28 meters by 28 meters. So we are going to have uh, 28 times 28 multiplied by this value. This value is the pixel, the number of pixel that makes up that change. So what it shows here is that 